Welcome back to Studio 701. Beautiful plants never go out of season. And in today's Ready, Set, Grow, Natalie and Casey talk about the best soil for your plants. We are back at Plant Perfect. I'm joined by Casey. Always a pleasure. So, Casey, one thing that plants need is potting mix, right? Yep. It's essential to their health. Yep. And we're highlighting something new that you're doing here at Plant Perfect. So yeah. let us know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we started doing all of our own in-house mixes for house plants. So the biggest thing with potting soil is, is it's not just pull out the bag of miracle Grow and it's a one size fits all treatment. If we can tailor what is in the mix and what works best for that plant, then you can be more successful growing them in your home. Let us in on some yeah. of the mixes that you have. Yeah, so let's, we'll just start down on this end and we'll work, we'll work our way back. The base for pretty much all of the mixes is some type of, of coconut. So you have that, that shell that's in the coconut and that can be ground down into like a, like a light kind of like soil fiber. Peat moss, which is most other potting mixes, Anybody that's ever grown houseplants knows once peat moss gets dry, it's like you put water on it and then it just like runs through. It's like it will not, it will not saturate it. So the nice part about the coconut is once it gets dry, it'll readily, more readily take the water on than, than like the peat moss would. So over here, Natalie, we've got our cactus mix. So I'm gonna dump a little of this, of this in your hands. And what makes this a good cactus mix is we've got a few different things you can see. The white stuff in there is the perlite. And what's great about that is it's a high amount. You can see there's quite a bit of it in there. That's light, it adds pore space, um, adds more air. Mm -hmm. It doesn't hold as much water because we know cactus like to be in dry environments. Sure. Otherwise, this has also got some bark in there. Um, we've got that perlite and then it's got the, the coconut, which is kind of that the finer grinds, the darker fine grinds that you see in there. This next one here is specifically for Hoyas. Mm -hmm. So Hoyas have become really popular with collectors, people who are really into houseplants, grabbing the different ones. Hoyas like really similar to kind of cactus. They like really good pore space. They like really good uh, well-drained soil. So this one you're gonna notice is like way different again. Sure. Where this soil is almost a little bit more oh. kind of chunky. Yeah, more chunky. So yeah, this is just a lighter mix. It's also got some bark in there um, just to give more space for the roots, a little, little bit more air into that root space. Succulent mix here is another one. This one's very similar to the cactus mix. It doesn't have the sand in it, but lots of the perlite, plenty of the uh, the bark, and then the cocoa choir, which is again, that, that ground up coconut. It's gonna hold moisture really good, but that perlite is gonna give us enough drainage to where we don't overwater the succulents. Um, and cause, cause root rot and cause them to die yeah. off. So this one here is our aeroid mix. This one is pretty similar to the Hoya mix, has the nice big chunky perlite. Mm -hmm. It's got the pine bark in there. The philodendrons, monsteras, that family, they produce big aerial roots. They like to be able to pull, to pull air, to pull oxygen and all that through, in through their roots. So they like a good chunky mix with a lot of pore space. They don't like to be overwatered, so you rot, rot the roots. So this is a mix that you can water more frequently to have good moisture in there, but at the same time, it's gonna, it's gonna drain out good so you're not overwatering. And then I know I said there's not like a one fits all mix, but we're calling this last one here just our general house plant mix. So this is a little bit different from those I've been talking about a lot, holding less water and a lot more drainage. This mix has more of the coconut in there and it's made to just hold a little bit more moisture than the other ones. And that's gonna be really good for um, like the ferns, calathea, some of those other house plants. Obviously nothing likes to be overwatered, but stuff that likes to hold a little bit more moisture. All right, well thank you so much. Come visit Casey and the crew here at Plant Perfect and they will get all your plant needs taken care of. Back to you guys. Thanks, Natalie. All right, this has been Ready, Set, Grow, which is brought to you by Plant Perfect. They are located at 4615 Ottawa Street in Bismarck. You can call them at 701-258-1742. You can also find them online at plantperfect.com or on Facebook with the handle at Plant Perfect.